Here we're going to tie a fly called the Gummy Wooly Bugger. First thing we did was we added a rainbow colored cone or a multicolored cone. Then I wrapped some O2O lead onto the body of this fly just to give it some weight. What I'm doing now is I'm just taking my thread and uh, tying it in at the back of all this lead wire to jam it in place, keep it from moving backwards. And the next thing I'm going to do is just take that thread and I'm going to wrap through all this lead wire a couple of times just to secure it in place, keep it from moving around too much on me. Once you've gone through it a couple times, you're going to take your thread. You're going to go all the way back to the back of the hook here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the tail. I'm going to use two pieces of Wooly Bugger Marabou. I'm going to even up the tips of the Marabou so that the tips are perfectly even. Just like so. Now we're going to tie in that tail. We want our tail to be the length of the shank of the hook. So I just roughly measured it out. And I'm just going to lash the marabou to the hook. And I'm going to take it all the way up to where I where the wire is. Right where I stopped wrapping the wire. It'll give me a nice little segue into tying in the body materials. So the next material to tie in is going to be the copper wire. I'm just going to tie some small copper wire onto the side of the hook. Wrap it all the way back to the tail. This will be my rib. Now the next thing to do is tie in the UV chewy skin. I'm just going to cut a strip that's about half the uh, uh, distance from the gap there. It's about, oh, I'd say a quarter inch. And I cut a little notch into the area where I'm going to tie it in with. Just makes it a little easier to tie it into the to the fly. I'm going to take my thread all the way up to the, the cone. I'm going to take this chewy skin. I'm going to wrap a, a body with it. I do so just by placing each wrap right in front of the other. And this stuff is very stretchy, so you can pull on it to stretch it. Now once I get up to the front, I'm just going to capture the chewy skin. And I can trim it out. Now we're going to take a piece of Wooly Bugger Hackle from a Whiting Wooly Bugger or Bugger Pack. I'm going to use some Grizzly here. I'm just going to measure that out. I want those fibers in the front to reach below the, the tip of the hook. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tie this piece of Wooly Bugger Hackle in. And I strip out a little bit of the barbs here just to give myself a tie-in point. Now I'm going to take that wooly bugger hackle. I'm going to wrap two turns right at the front. Then I'm going to collar it back. And if you need to use your hackle pliers here, you can get those out. I'm just going to work it towards the back of the fly. And once I get to the back, I'm going to take my wire. I'm going to segment this hackle with my wire. I'm going to bite down into that chewy skin. Hides the wire, also keeps it in place. Then once I get to the front, I'm just going to capture the wire with my thread. A couple of tight wraps. Trim the wire out of there. Then you can whip finish. And of course add your head cement. 
that's all there is to a, a gummy bugger. Great little fly, it has a lot of flash, a lot of iridescence to it. Drives trout crazy. Works great on bass as well. Bluegill, you can tighten smaller sizes for bluegill. That's all there is to the gummy bugger.